Good morning, y'all. So, I just shot another. I just shot a video, like literally, like five minutes ago. But I'm still waiting on my my uh, my trainer. And so I want to shoot a video right now to talk about dry spells. And shout out to Olivia on my Facebook page, man. Um, I think her business is called the Coco Shop. So shout out to you for this question. She asked, she wanted me to talk about dry spells. And I thought this was a good topic, you know what I'm saying? And I'll talk about this. Um, dry spells in business, man. I, I, and I think what she means is that when she talks about, when she said talk about dry spell, I think she's talking about moments in your business where like, nothing is going on like you're probably not making any sales any of that and when it comes to entrepreneurship man you you got to be prepared for that like you just have to like when i had my first business i think i learned this when it was back in um 2014 2015 or ruakakai the landscaping business um i had points in my business where there were dry spells because landscaping was seasonal and every time it got to the winter time i would really my morale would really get down and I would really like just want to quit. But I think that that really prepared me for getting into this business, Urban Eden, because you're going to have moments where things are just not going to happen. Everything's not going to be in the up and up. Like everything's not going to be how you want it to be. You're going to have moments where nothing is going to happen. And that's why I tell people, man, you, when you go through entrepreneurship, man, you got to be prepared to go through all the seasons. You got to be tested, bro. Like you just got to be tested. Like, it's just a part of it. Like you have winter. Winter is hard, man. Winter is when you're preparing, you're getting stronger, you're training yourself, you're getting that soil right to prepare for spring. Spring comes. Spring comes. It's like a new life. You know what I'm saying? You got new energy. Um, you got um, in spring. You're planting seeds. You're planting those ideas. You're starting new things. Summer comes. Summer is a period of testing. It is similar to winter, but it's hot. The weeds are trying to come and steal everything that you're trying to do. Like everything that you started in the spring is trying to tear it all up. And actually, you really kind of started in the winter. And then fall is when you harvest, is when you're going to harvest everything. Now, these aren't literal um, seasons. Like they are literal seasons, but it, it might not happen in this order. But you got to you gotta go through the seasons, man. You got to get tested. And there's going to be times where it's going to be drought. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be dry spells. This is all a part of it. And you got to be able to be prepared for that mentally you know what i'm saying the first time you go through it it's going to be hard man it, it is going to be hard because there have been times in our business where and i can go and i wish i can just pull it up for you like there have been times where we haven't made a sale i'm grateful now there pretty much isn't a day now where we don't make a sale but when we first first got started like there are days when you don't make any money there are days when you don't make like anything like and you have to be prepared for that like like i say more than anything mentally because it it, it can be depressing it can be hard like it is it's a lot because you're like man like am i doing the right thing is this right like you're, you're you're questioning yourself around this time but again that's the time when you have to be a strongest you have to you have to really this is why you need to pick something that you're very passionate about and that you like because it's not it's not really about the money you know what i'm saying do you truly love what you do you know are you passionate about it you know what i'm saying like that's what you really gotta lean on you know what i'm saying is this really your purpose you know find your purpose or you wasting air that's what nipsey said like that's what you gotta do and actually the line before that he said i say it's worth it i won't say it's fair find your purpose or you wasting air and he said f it though y'all people scared and i just i should have coded that a little bit but you 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 got to find your purpose and uh, like you said it's worth it all of this stuff is worth it man for you to go through all of the trials and tribulations like they said gold has to be tested through fire you know what i'm saying like it, i'm like i said it's worth it but it's not going to be fair like you not making sales in the day that might not be fair but hey it's going to be worth it bro if you could push through that It'll be worth it because then you'll be able to tell the next generation or the next group of entrepreneurs that come. You know what I'm saying? You got to go through that so that you can help somebody else when it's time for them to go through that. You know, so dry spells is just a part of business, man. It's just a part of business. You're not going to always be bringing it in constantly. You know what I'm saying? And even now, when I said that it's some days where it's never it's like now we're at a point now where we, we make sales every single day and we get orders every single day. But even if it does come up where we don't make any sales like. You know, I mean, hey, what can I say? Like, this is a part of it. But there are things and there are measures that you probably need to, that you need to, you know, 
go through like you need to this is why you need to have an email list so you can you know hit your email list sometimes and this is why you need to be consistent with your marketing when it comes to social media and you know making content and all of those things that can help you to generate sales you know what i'm saying and if you continue to do this over an extended period of time and be consistent you won't have these dry spells but again like i said you will have like this is just a part of business it's a part of growth like dry spells is just it is what it is but like i said when it comes to entrepreneurship and this is one of the things that i do and this is a very good tip right here very listen closely to this one like i never get too high and i never get too low like when we have an awesome day of sales and it's like a record breaking and everything like that like example our grand opening our grand opening we made tons of money like we 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 did a great job like that was a great day i was happy but i wasn't like so happy to the point where like you know like i'm i'm like I wasn't to the point where I was just so ecstatic. Like, I was grateful. Don't get me wrong. I was very grateful. But I wasn't to the point where, like, I'm just on cloud nine and I'm just... I act like, act like you've scored before. I like you've scored a touchdown before. I like you've made a basket before. I like you've been there before. Even though you probably haven't, you kind of have in some form or fashion. Like, you're not... When you have success, it's not by luck. Like, you have done it before in some form. And when bad things happen, I don't get too low. So like I said, when good things happen, don't get super high. And when bad things happen, don't get super low. Stay within the flow. Stay even-minded. Stay even-headed. Level-headed, what I call it. Yeah, level-headed. Stay level-headed. You know what I'm saying? Like, Just be cool. Be easy. Um, like, Because the thing about it, like, you're on a marathon, man. And shout out to Nipsey, man. Rest in peace. But this is a marathon. This is not a sprint. So if there is a day that you don't make sales, like, or if there's a dry spell, just take it how it is. Like, take that time to, to, to continue to work on your game. Like, and when I say work on your game, work on your skills, man. You got to get more skills. That's all that means. Jim Rohn used to always say that, like, don't wish that it was easier. Just wish you had more skills. That's literally it. So just continue to get better. And that's what's going, that's what's going to separate the ones that are really real and the ones that are not. Because most people are going to quit. And that's what you need to understand. Most people are going to quit, man. Most people are not going to do what you're going to do. So if you can get that through your head right now and just know that this is just a part of the process, fall in love with the process, y'all. Fall in love with that process, man. The process is a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful, beautiful thing, but it's hard going through it. And even, like, I'm, I'm going through it right now. Like, I'm going through it. Like, we have a store, bro, like... That is a stressful thing. You got to keep up with overhead and you got to make sure you bring in them sales. Like, ain't no, like, slowing down. Like, we got to keep it moving and you just got to keep your mind, like, sharp and keep it, you know, focused and keep it, you know, going forward. Like, you got to have a, a forward progression. And that's, I feel like that's probably my strength is that I'm a, I keep going. I keep pushing. Like, keep pushing. Don't give up. Like, and that's that's what's gonna separate you from everybody else is the fact that you don't give up. You don't give up when it's a little hard, or when like when when things get a little shaky. The dry spells, like you like you said. So, again, stay within the flow. Stay level headed. You know, keep your head up. Continue to build your skills. Find you know find something that you love. And keep perfecting your craft, man. That's what it's all about. Keep perfecting your craft. I always use sports analogy, man. Like, every year, man, like, a lot of these top players, like, they continue to work on their game, like, in the summer. Continue to work on your, on your craft. Work on your game. Work on your skills. Continue educating yourself. Read books. Like, go to networking events. Like, do, all, do everything. Do it all. Like, continue to just feed yourself, man. Feed it. But, again, you will be tested. And you will have to go through these seasons entrepreneurship is not easy man and i know now like it's it's glorified it's even me i've, I've glorified it i've talked about it a lot if you've been on my page you see me talk about it a lot because i'm going through it but by any stretch of the matter like bro it is not easy it is not it is very hard there's so many days i'll be wanting to quit i'll be like man let me just give me a job it could be easy me and my wife can go on vacation you know probably anytime because when you have a business people think that Oh, I'm my own boss. I ain't got to listen to nobody no more. That's the biggest lie, man. You think that you're going to have just... You do have control of your time. I will say that. But it's it's much more responsibility on your hand. And mentally, like I said, you have to be prepared for that. You have to. It's not peaches and cream. Trust me, it's not. It's hard as hell. It is hard because it's all on you. 
you're not dependent on a check. You know what I'm saying? You can't just go to work. Like how you can go to work sometime and just check out and just be going through the motions. Like you can't do that when, when you have your own business, man, because it's all on you. All the responsibility is on you. Um, it just is, man. And there's no, there's no other way around it. No other way around it. So again, you're going to go through the seasons. You're going to get tested and you got to be prepared for that. So peace and until the next video.